hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to the third and final part of this first Chronicles of Gaia Q&A, if you want to read the series yourself. Uh, if you're watching on the YouTube, the link is in the description. If you're watching this on Manic Expression, the link is above. And if you're watching this on the Gaia blog... <laughs> so we're finishing up with the last two questions from Kinsley. Her first question is, are the legends of Fang going to be true? And in the previous part, I talked about Fang. And what I was saying as fact were the legends. It's just, now that's all you, the readers, know for certain for now are the legends, are what Butio is telling you, or what, what the descendants are telling you if you're if you've read The Hunt, which is the Chronicles of Gaia bonus chapter that's out currently. So, are those legends true? I sort of want you to read this shit. I mean, perfectly good piece of literature. So, um, maybe they're true, maybe they aren't, maybe they're a bit of both. You're going to have to keep on reading. I promise to answer all the questions, you know, about Fang as the series goes on. But for now, maybe. And the final question for this Q&A is, are the Rethai as homophobic as Drethai Veal legends say? The easiest way to start to answer the question is, in Dreth society, Homophobia doesn't really exist. Definitely not to scale it does in today's day and age. It's basically Gaia, the new, what the Dreth have renamed Earth, is made up, I guess, is, as Butio is uh, fond of saying, a harsh mistress. So, Dreth society is about survival and about the whole species surviving, so uh, homophobia and other doesn't really fit into that, so it does exist here and there because, let, let's face it, we cannot get rid of all prejudices. Just, just isn't realistic, isn't going to happen, so there are pockets here and there, but it's extremely rare. And you compare that to know what the Dreth to know of the Rethai, and Rethai is the name that the Dreth gave the humans that left Earth. And you compare that with the Rethai who... We know it is homophobia, we know it exists, we can see the prejudices against those in the LGBTQ plus community. And that is <laughs> That's just leagues beyond of what the Dreth are used to nowadays. Nowadays, meaning in the current state of the series. So, of course, when you compare one where, like, homophobia is, like, like here and there every now and again, to, hey, there's homophobia here, and then there's... The, and they had to struggle to get same-sex marriage, and... Some kids are kicked out of their home if they come out, and people are killed for this, and it's... There is such a big discrepancy between the two points that, to address, they would seem extremely, extremely just, wow, what the fuck? So yeah, they would be... Yeah, they... Dreth could not understand what the Rethai were doing back then, so... They're more homophobic than the Dreth by a, a huge, huge margin. And you must also remember that the Rethai are the enemies of the Dreth. So, what do you do when you're trying to fight someone off? You know, just get people against them, there's going to be propaganda. So, I would say part of the reason 
the Dreth think so, the Rethi are so homophobic is because it's so different from their culture and their society, and also because of the propaganda of humans are e Rethi are evil, Rethi are bad, blah blah blah. So it's a combination of the two. And thank you to anyone who has actually watched all three of these parts. And if you do want to have your questions answered in the next Q&A, keep track of the Gaia blog, because I will make a post when I'm about to do another Q&A. And I will be timing these Q&As around the releases of the bonus chapters, because I do want people who don't donate be, I don't want them to be left in the dark with no, no real huge nice content. So that's why this these Q&As will be coming out around that time. And so yeah, so if remember to, so if this Q&A has actually made you go, hey, this actually seems sort of interesting. I want to really read the series itself to see what's going on. No, I told you where the links were. And if you want one of your questions in the next Q&A, just keep track of the blog. And I believe I do have an option where you can subscribe by email. So basically when I make a post in the blog, you'll get an email. So, hey. And <laughs> until next video, goodbye.